Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Crazy Maxine Waters headed to serve hard time after doubling down on Trump death wish. In the world of politics, everything you do and say is closely watched and criticized. If you happen to be running for re-election, your challenger will take any little mistake and make a big issue out of it in hopes of securing your job when election time rolls around. In the case of Omar Navarro, who's challenging Maxine Waters for her seat in Congress, he was just given a beautiful gift by Waters. You see, Waters was going along, being corrupt and generally feeding off the taxpayers without notoriety until she got her panties in a bunch about President Trump and made it her personal mission to get him impeached. It is her job to do what she thinks is best for the people of this great nation, however, Waters is taking this crusade to a whole new, and illegal, level. Instead of vowing to just impeach the president, the 70-something, 30-year veteran of Congress took the time in a recent speech to promise that she would take Trump out tonight. Freedom Daily reported on her statements, just hours after she made them, including this video. As you can see, she's clearly making substantial threats against the President of the United States, and for some reason feels she can't get away with that. Unfortunately for her, someone is gunning for her job, and according to the Epoch Times, He's looking not only take her seat in Congress but her freedom as well. Rep. Maxine Waters, Democrat California, is under fire for a recent viral video which shows her making threats against President Donald Trump, and one of her political opponents is calling for her arrest over the statements. In a speech Waters gave at an October 13 event in New York City, she states, With this kind of inspiration, I will go and take Trump out tonight. The video of her speech was initially pulled offline by YouTube, but has since been reposted numerous times and has recently gone viral. On October 22, it garnered the attention of Omar Navarro, a candidate for the congressional seat held by Waters. I'm calling for the arrest of Maxine Waters. Let's get ready for it. Hash vote Navarro 2018, he stated on Twitter. Adding Secret Service should call for Maxine Waters' immediate resignation after these comments. We don't need lip service. Before you start feeling too badly for the senior citizen public servant, please remember that Navarro is just taking a page from Waters' playbook. She was rocking along just fine, warming a seat in Congress and propping up the Democrats before she decided to make a name for herself trying to get President Trump removed from office. Her opponent isn't the only one that finds these kinds of comments unacceptable. There's no good ending to a country that lets its president be physically threatened by someone who disagrees with him politically. These liberals are acting as if the president is somehow threatening our way of life by enforcing the laws that Congress has already passed. The chairwoman of the Republican National Committee weighed in on Twitter calling Waters' statements unacceptable. Democrat leadership should denounce any suggested violence against the president. This might be her worst breach of ethics, but it's certainly not her first. Waters has retained her job in Washington for the past 30 years, and in that time she has done some serious damage to the taxpayers' pockets and her own reputation. It's practically the Hill's worst kept secret that Maxine Waters is as corrupt as the day is long. Here's more from our source about Waters' sordid and sullied reputation in Washington. She was named four times by liberal watchdog group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, CREW, in 2005, 2006, 2009, and 2011 as one of the most corrupt members of Congress. An eight-page crew report lists her numerous cases of misconduct and the investigations into her actions. Among the cases, she allegedly used her position as a senior member of Congress and member of the House Financial Services Committee to prevail upon Treasury officials to meet with one United Bank, says Crew. Judicial Watch, a conservative nonpartisan watchdog group, referred to Waters in December 10, 2012, as a famously corrupt, and seemingly untouchable, congresswoman renowned for abusing her power to enrich family members, 
and criticized her rise to become a ranking member of the House Financial Services Committee. It notes that Waters helped family members make more than $1 million through business ventures with companies and causes that she has helped, and was also investigated by the House Ethics Committee for steering $12 million in federal bailout funds to a failing Massachusetts bank that she and her husband, a board member, held shares in. It adds that Waters has also come under fire for skirting federal elections rules with a shady fundraising gimmick that allows her to receive unlimited amounts of donations from certain contributors, and for making hundreds of thousands of dollars in short periods of time by selling her endorsement to other politicians and political causes. In a July segment, Tucker Carlson of Fox News noted that Maxine Waters lives in a 6,000-square-foot. $4.3 million mansion in one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Los Angeles. He questions, how did she afford a place like that, after having spent the last 40 years working in government? We'd hate to speculate. Despite her track record, Waters achieved relative fame among Democrats in the 2016 presidential elections, due to her frequent calls to impeach Trump, and for continually pushing the still unproven Trump-Russia narrative. The New York Times noted her unexpected rise to fame on the left in a July 7 article, stating through all the tumult, Miss Waters, once deemed one of the most corrupt members of Congress by a liberal watchdog group, has remade herself from Los Angeles ward politician to a darling of the left. left.